right after this. It's that time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone, from 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some mid-season NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. And from the sideline, David Aldridge. And a look now at the Thunder's upcoming schedule. On Friday, they'll face off against Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Saturday, they'll take on Marc Gasol and the Los Angeles Lakers. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. Well, Kevin, even though starters are important, those great sixth men have been the key to so many championship teams. Think about the likes of Andre Iguodala, Manu Ginobili, Lamar Odom. And still, with some, there's a stigma to coming off the bench. Iguodala said it's ingrained early, but in particular, he said, in the NBA, it's, I need to get paid like a starter. And guys, that's a sacrifice that not many are willing to line up for. David Aldridge, thank you. Greg, obviously, we're early on here. We already have seen some second-year players looking much more improved over the rookie year. I mean, if you put in the work, you're not guessing as much. And listen, the fact that you've now gone through the season, you've got a better sense of who you are and what you can do out on the floor. Uh, I know I cut way back on my turnovers at the start of my second year, and you go into the offseason with specific... between your first and second year than any other two years in your career? It, it, you could make that case, no doubt about it, because that's you're, you're still thinking you could be one of the all-time greats no matter who you are at that stage. And so you tend to put in a little more emphasis in terms of uh, improvement. Look at the 76ers starting group. Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Matisse Thibel's out there with Ben Simmons. And it's Green in at the three, the small four. And for the Thunder. And Gilgis Alexander on the wing. He's joined by Dort. Then there's Hill. Then there's Horford. And it's Roby in at the power forward. Now Simmons. George Hill missing on the three. Harris outside. To the middle. And B kicks to Harris. For the three. Dort grabs the miss. Here's Oklahoma City. And this is the first season matchup for them against this 76ers team. A matchup that only happens twice a year. These interconference battles can be a lot of fun. Yeah, this one will be for sure. Interconference matchups are always pretty fascinating just because of timing on scouting and how often you watch teams like this affect some of the unpredictability of the East West battles. Now Embiid, George Hill missing on the three. The 76ers with another miss. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just basically whips on it. Looking at Philadelphia, they took the win in their last game against Orlando. And it's just never easy to get stops in this league, but they had a smart game plan defensively, and I felt like that was the difference. Well, good defensive game plan and then carrying it out for 48 minutes, that really helped them out in that last game. Oklahoma City. Simmons feeling it out of it. And that one drops for him. And Simmons is so deft with the floater, freezing the D completely. Hill passes to Dort. Here's Rope. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Here's Horford. 
and the shot goes in. Good closer to the rack. Horford's added a jumper, but at home on the inside. The 76ers have gone just one of four to get this game started. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Harris passes to Simmons. Back to Harris. 76ers moving the ball around. Down to five on the shot clock. Bible can't get it to go. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Defeated by the Pacers in the last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, tough game on the road. The, the guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Five on the clock. Well, it's something that he's done throughout his career. Green once again making a big defensive play. And you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. There's the pass to Embiid. Over Horford. Embiid, no good. Oklahoma City's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. This is it to Roby. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Hill inside. Defended by Thibel. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Greg, I know you've played for some great coaches in your day. What is it that separates the truly elite coaches, in your opinion, from just coaches that are pretty good? I think the one attribute that's most important for a great coach is consistency. Hmm. And, and I've said is you can, you can coach a lot of different ways. You can win a lot of different ways. But you've got to be sincere and true to your principles and, and your philosophy. And those are the coaches and I've had them that have done it different ways, but they've been the most successful. And listen, you've also at the professional level, you've got to have a presence about you. You've got to have some charisma out there as well to get these men to buy in. Now, Gilgis Alexander following Tobias Harris's three-point attempt. for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do it. Outside, green, inside. Here's Simmons. Trying to end the drought. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Intent on keeping that possession alive. Simmons uses his height to his advantage. And he's got his first chance at the line here. One shot. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. The first pick in the 2016 NBA draft. Simmons has been a phenomenal addition to our league. Here's Dort. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Horford with a speed on green. Here's Dort. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And Bean's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 
fly ball, the pass to Embiid. Vicious to Harris. Takes the three. No good that time. So the Thunder will take it the other way. And that's a foul called on Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul of the first quarter, and they may want to sit him for a while to avoid number three. Diallo, he's checked in for Gilgis Alexander. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. Every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. Eibel with the ball. 14 points from him the last game against Orlando. And Simmons kicks to Green. The 76ers with another miss. Oklahoma City trailer. Outside, over. He's coming off a 16-point game against Indiana. And his rebounding was solid in that effort as well. He did a lot of work on the glass all around. It's just his effort level was off the charts. Now here is Hill. That's to Roby. That's to Diallo. Horford with the screen on green. With the try. Shot good by the out. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And here is Simmons. He had 10 points in the win against the Magic in Orlando. I'm not sure in that game if it was him or Dikembe Mutombo out there, guys. I was just hoping to see one finger wave after one of those four blocks. No, no, no. Not today. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't got one to fall. Here's Dort. That one doesn't drop. Some solid defense from Harris. And the pass to Embiid. Knocks it loose and stolen by Horford. Now Hill. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Diallo with it. Now defended by Embiid. It's stolen by Green. He takes it in. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. A relatively rare trip to the free throw line for Green. Averaging just one attempt per game over the course of his career. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How Take about over 90%? Two shots. And he makes the first. And some changes here for the 76ers. Howard's checked in for Tobias Harris. Seth Curry comes in for Matisse Thibel. And Maxi subbed in for Ben Simmons. No good on the second free throw. And you can see that even though he ties the game up, disappointed, he couldn't give him the lead. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Now here's MB. George Hill missing his last shot. Finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. And hit on the way up. Embiid's strong physically, but also mentally able to keep his focus. Paisley passes to Hill. Fires from deep. Green with the rebound. The 76ers lead. Up top, Curry. Passes to Maxi. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Curry finds Howard. Shot opportunity. The Thunder pull it in. 
That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. you got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Now, here is him. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Here's Max. Pass to Howard. Outside Green. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. A good decision right there from Dwight. Excellent awareness on that particular play. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Aston Muscala launches it. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Now, here's Maxi. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. The dish to Green. Six on the shot clock. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Embiid from outside. Sinks the triple. Embiid's got five now. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now, here is Hill. The 10 foot And it's sent back by Howard. Uh, Dwight Howard still makes you think about your shot attempts. Easily leaping up to throw that one away. Jake Milton, he's jacked in for Green. Here is Hill. Shot clock at five. Into the lane. The 76ers leading by four. Outside Kirk. At the top of the key, NB. Shoots the three. Another three for Philadelphia. And you have to be unselfish if you're going to lead your team to great things. And, and I think NB gets that. Now, here is Hill. And there's the pass to Baisley. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. But now let's take a quick look at the numbers for Joel Embiid. First in rebounding, third in blocks, and ranked among the top ten in scoring. He can fill it up with the best of them. And just going back real quick to the fact that he's tops in the league in rebounds. What a tremendous feat. What a monster he is in the paint. Now, here's Maxi. No points in the game yet for him. Embiid, the pass to Maxi. Embiid with the screen on Ariza. And it's good for two. And now a 9.76ers lead. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Outside Hill. Passes it to Diallo. So Curry will bring it up for Philadelphia. Here he goes. And that one's good. Maxi. And the 76ers lead by 11. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Muscala up top over Howard. Muscala misses. That's yeah, pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. but this one has been one-sided so far. And the 76ers have been rolling along, haven't they? It's been 
stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And so in the game for the 76ers, we've got Harris, and Simmons is out there with Cork Mons. Then it's Shake Milton, and it's Howard into the five down low. And here is Julius Alexander. After Tobias Harris getting his shot to go from deep, Muscala pass to Horford over Howard. Horford no luck. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Pass to Harris. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Horford. Their son, Cole Gregg, was one of the top high school players in America. A lot of services had him number one. Talk about what it was like going through the recruiting process as a dad. You know, it was it was fun for the most part because he really kind of kept everything in perspective. Uh, and the Shoot teams two. we dealt with, the schools we dealt with, man, they were all top notch. So that process about as enjoyable as one could ask for. But at the same time, it's still stressful, man. That's still your little guy getting ready to head off to college. Well, you're a dad and a proud one at that. I feel like Tobias Harris's confidence has grown over the past couple seasons especially on the offensive end, very capable of taking advantage of smaller defenders. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Dort's checked in. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. He's trailing by 15. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Nice to the hoop. Rebound by the 76ers. Howard's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Simmons. Safety move. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the 76ers lead by 17. Well, that's when you love to see the strength of Dwight Howard marching through the defense and just ripping away the second chance opportunity for an easy score. Horford trying to free himself up. Muscala hits the bucket. Remember when big men shooting threes were as rare as a Sasquatch. Now those big guys are everywhere. Simmons finds Howard. Simmons against Gilgis Alexander. For Oklahoma City, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Pass to Muscala. Here's Dort. Shot clock at six. And there's the call on home. That's his first foul. And the Thunder making a switch here. Kobe is checked in. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Simmons with it. He's got five. Harris outside. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Harris has got seven points for the quarter. Uh, working tirelessly on the stroke, Tobias Harris trying to find consistency with that shot. Now here's Diallo. Defense is right there. Pocket six. And a slam cut by Diallo. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Here's Milton. The Thunder making the shot. Back to Simmons. Here's Korkmaz. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Harris, no good. A close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Howard finds Harris. It's a nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Howard against Horford. on top. Driving in, and it's sent back by Horford. Spotted by Horford in terms of defense. How 
Horford up there amongst the top. He'll just have a junior. Good. Yeah, what a great option he gives them on every possession. A couple of years ago, after making over the second team, we knew Gilgis Alexander was good. But Greg, last season, he went from good to great. I mean, how about almost doubling his scoring average? Became a tremendous rebounder out of the backcourt. He gives you assists and picks up steals as well. Once he gains more strength, this guy could be a perennial all-star. And the Thunder with the possession here. Following the missed shot by Tobias Harris. They'll get another chance. Dort passes to Horford. Moves back up. They get it back. Here's Roby. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single digit lead. And they're hitting the long range shots that they were missing in the first quarter, but still have ground to make up. Now it gets to Harris. Outside, Simmons. Yes, that goes in. Simmons got seven points. And when Simmons is inside, forget about it. He uses his skill and smarts to take advantage. Obi the pass to Horford. Over Howard. Horford, no luck. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. Cook Mize gets to Harris. Here's Howard. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Tries yet again. He lays it in. Howard's got four points in the quarter. And Howard loves getting positioned down that deep, knowing he's a force in the paint. Simmons against Gilgis Alexander. And stolen by Simmons. Here's Milton. <laughs> And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, way to play an attack ball and get to the line. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game, how it's been going for Philadelphia. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. And for some reason, they've also had guys in the right spots on the offensive glass. Lots of putbacks. They throw good. Greg, if you're a small market team, how do you convince stars that you've drafted and developed to stay and resign? It's a great question, Kevin. I actually think in a lot of ways it's easier today because you can be box office. You can be a, a superstar in a small market and have the name recognition because of the era we, we play in. And so I, I think the biggest way to keep them there is to build a championship caliber team around them. That is your saving grace. If you can prove to them that you can build a championship caliber team, I, I don't really think that there is a reason to want to lose. It's a solid blueprint. Here's Milton. After the made shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander. A shot by Milton, no good. A defense better tighten up on the mid range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. And stolen by Simmons. But Trey. Kobe with the rebound. Kobe's got six rebounds in the game. In the corner, it's Diallo. By Harris. Every so often, Tobias Harris showing you something defensively and great timing to throw that one away. Fibol, the pass to Simmons. Roby with the rebound. Roby's got his seventh rebound here tonight. One player sometimes can drag down your offense. He seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Picked by Horford. Driving the lane. But on the bucket, Diallo's got six points. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Now, here's Milton. Count that one. Milton's 
got his third bucket of the night. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. comes in for Shake Milton and Maxi subbed in for Simmons. passes to Embiid. Curry on the wing. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And he drives in. Six to shoot. Off target with his three. And they're trailing by 12. Here's Bridges Alexander. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. He gets really smooth sometimes. Gilgis Alexander has some size. He challenged the defense with it that time. For Oklahoma City, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. First one falls for Gilgis Alexander, such an intriguing prospect coming out of Kentucky. I can't wait to watch in a new system how it is that he starts to understand and develop further his offensive play. Mike Muscala is checked in for the Thunder. The 76ers also with a sub. Green's checked in. Gilgis Alexander hits a goal. The 76ers leading by 10. The pass to Embiid. He dishes it to Green. Outside Curry. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Curry's got his first basket of the night. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness. And Muscala gets to a reason. Got a piece of it and stolen by Harris. And here's Maxi. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gilgis Alexander. Let's now take a moment to view the league's leading rebounders. Number one is Joel Embiid. And guys, his rebounding has taken a lot of pressure off their other bigs. It, it frees those guys up to contribute in a lot of other ways. Now, here's Maxi. Kicks it to Embiid. Fires top of the key. And he nails the jumper. 
And Beach got seven points in the game. And this coaching staff loves to see that kind of aggression from MB. No hesitation on the jump shot. That's the mentality they want out of a big man. Here's a reason. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Passes to Muscala from deep. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Bede's got his eighth rebound here tonight. To the left side wing. Over to the left wing. Maxi. And the dunk by Embiid. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Seven points in the game. It's back to Hill. After missing this first seven, now shooting one for eight this game. Yeah, smart play there. George Hill, good at figuring out ways in the paint to score the basketball. Outside, green. And it's off from three-point range. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. It's a 14-point game. Puskala, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Count it. Nine points in the game so far. Yeah, this story in the second quarter, much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Pass to Green. Embiid with it. And they double up Embiid. Curry kicks to Harris. Shot clock at six. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Harris has got ten points now just in this quarter. Now Hill. Ariza sets a screen for Hill. Pass to Baisley. Back to Ariza. Beyond the arc. Knocks down the three ball. Ariza's got his first three points of the game. Now Trevor Ariza makes a living out there beyond the arc. Maxi passes to Embiid. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the first half. To the wing right side. Back to Harris. Alexander surveying the game. And that one released in time, but no good. Tobias Harris, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Philadelphia 76ers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be back with you shortly. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Philadelphia finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They are leading by 12. And over to Shaq, what did you think about Philadelphia? The difference to me has been their offense in the paint. When they've had a mismatch, they take full advantage. They're making smart entry passes, not trying to force the ball when the opening is not there. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Oklahoma City? Well, look, they turned the ball over way too much. You can't do that in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. You can't give them that many possessions. Don't give away the entire game just by giving up an extra few possessions here and there. These guys need to come with more precision in the second half. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Tobias Harris, he has really been playing well. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. Yeah, you would hope the defense at least would start to consider creeping up on him just a little bit. 
Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And Gildas Alexander on the wing. He's joined by Torch. Then there's Horton. Then there's Hill. And it's Roby in at the four-man position. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Here's Torch. After Ben Simmons buckets, Horford finds Gildas Alexander. Here's Roby. To Gilgis Alexander. Rebound by the 76ers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Their next game is in Cleveland, taking on the Cavaliers. That'll be the last game of their very short three game road tour. Out to Harris. Get the shot. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Nine points in the game so far. Can't hit from the elbow. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. The pass to Harris. And beat inside. Working on Horford. Offensive rebound. And beat. No good. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Horford kicks to Gilgis Alexander. That's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Harris passes to Embiid. Now here's Green. Three-pointer. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. Well, that is what he does, just deadly beyond the arc. Green is one of those guys you cannot afford to leave for a second. Well, they're trailing by 17 to the inside. Here's Horford, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on MB. Oh, the officials are all over that one. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting two. The first one falls. And being a second generation NBA talent, Horford knows how to stay successful in this league. You see how he's evolved his game to keep up with the times. So Horford gets two. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Simmons with it. He's got nine from deep green. Hill pulls it in. This is a DeGilgis Alexander. The Thunder with another miss. Oof, rough shooting night tonight, but you can't fault him for the effort. Simmons passes to Embiid. Over Roby. That's tipped. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence in this quarter. Nothing on target. Dishes it to Horford. Jacks up a three. A shot. No good. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Bible on the wing. Offensive rebound. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 11 points. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Hill passes to Horford. That's the door. The kick out to Hill. Here's the three. Doesn't go for him. The 76ers leading by 17. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Embiid dishes to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Throw it down, young fella. 
Simmons is explosive and without a doubt, one of my favorite dunkers. Horford with the screen on green. Here's Dort. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got 15 rebounds here tonight. And here is Simmons. He's got 11. Let's it go from 14. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Kobe's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Here's the screen. And go! Yes, sir. Gildas Alexander up there, so dynamic as a finisher. Al Simmons, steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. MB, no good. Under trailing by 17. And a former high-level recruit, Dort went undrafted, but it didn't take him long to make an NBA team and contribute. He played around 20 minutes a game last year for OKC, and he just really prided himself on bringing toughness and defense on a nightly basis. Trust me, there's plenty of other guys on that roster who can do the scoring job. So he settled in nicely and continues to work on being more consistent offensively. for Tobias Harris. Korkmaz comes in for Green, and it's Jake Milton in for Matisse Thibel. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. They're yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Now here's Simmons. 11 points in the game, and the dunk by MB. And with off-the-charts awareness, Simmons makes plays that others simply don't see. Gilgis Alexander against Simmons. That one drops for him. So it's Philadelphia now. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Simmons left side, and so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. And here's a look at some numbers for Joel Embiid. And in the last five games, he's made a bunch of hustle plays on the glass more than anywhere else. His rebounding totals in these games shows a dramatic increase from his numbers during the rest of the season. Now here's Simmons. Aaron Simmons slams it in. Yeah, whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane jumping skills, he sees it. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, we'll have to settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the 76ers? And they've made the long range look like a layup Watch at out. times in this one, guys. The other thing they've done is had penetrating passes inside, in the interior, plenty of points in the paint. The free throw off from Gilgis Alexander. 
Hey, Brent, last postseason, we saw some teams have heated exchanges internally after tough losses. Does that happen very often? If there's something, Kevin, that you feel you're capable of doing, and there's a lot at stake with regards to that in terms of not your reputation, but in terms of the type of respect that your team should be getting, yes, this happens a lot. It happens in the playoffs, and it's a bit more aggressive. But great teams find ways to work through those problems and become their best selves. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. To the middle. It's tipped. OK, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thank you. There will be a subtle but significant change on the court this season. Wilson is now the official basketball supplier for the NBA and its affiliated leagues. In fact, they were the association's original supplier starting in 1946. Now, after a nearly four-decade hiatus, Wilson reclaims that position. Guys, back to you. We appreciate that, David. Thank you. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here's Diallo. He has six. Ariza buries it from three-point range. Ariza's got six. And give him credit. Ariza wasn't a shooter coming out of UCLA. He is now. Here's Embiid. To Simmons. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Simmons. That's his first foul. The second half has it gone nearly as well for him. He'd only had one before the break in terms of turnovers, but that number's growing as this game progresses. And some changes here for the 76ers. Curry comes in for Korkmaz. And Maxey subbed in for Ben Simmons. Thunder trailing by 16. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it and make the adjustment. this season so far. Well, 76ers in second. I mean, terrific rim protection. I mean, they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody. And of course, you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots. And that continues to be the goal. Gilgis Alexander gets to a reason. Pass to Baseline. Back to a reason. They grabbed their own miss. The pass to Diallo. Here's Baisley. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Four on the shot clock. That doesn't go either for a reason. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Now here's MB. He's got 13. Kept alive. How? And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Oh boy, the touch is coming back here in the second half. Percentages from the field much better than it was at the break. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese. That is his first foul of the game. And you can see he just 
just didn't get squared up with his feet. And the 76ers making a change here. Harris has checked in. Ariza outside. There's the three. Ariza with another miss. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. That's a bad miscue. You can't give up looks like that all game long. Now, here's Maxi. Outside curve. Out to the right wing. Just five to shoot. And Embiid gets it to go. Embiid's got six in the quarter. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Here's a reason. He's got six. Here's Baisley. That's three pointers off the mark. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but they give it to him again. I, I bet three points are coming. Now, here's Milton. Fades back. And out of bounds is the Thunder game possession. And with the pause and the action, let's look at the numbers for Tobias Harris. He's averaging 15 points a game, five rebounds, and two assists. And very few players in the league can go out and produce like he has. Just a great stretch for him. And it keeps playing like this, and you know in arenas, especially at home, when the star player is playing this well, those MVP chants come raining down. Here's Baisley, guarded by Harris. And there's a foul. We'll go on Shake Milton. That'll be his second foul of the game. We've got 155 left in the third quarter. Passes it to Baisley. Shot clock at five. Out to the wing. Here's Muscala. Brings it from beyond the arc. Muscala's got nine. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And here's Maxi. Has to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Here's Maxi. And again with the rebound. He holds in his 20th rebound. Dominating the glass. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Baisley. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Screen by Diallo. And the Thunder, another three. There's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Welcome the pass to Curry. Now here's MB. Not a lot of room. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Gilgis Alexander finds Muscala. No, 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 no. There's 25 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Back in off the glass. Muscala's got five points in the quarter. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Here's Max driving to the basket. And fall on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. They have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4 of 7 from the foul line tonight. The first free throw is good. Both teams will make substitutions. Good on both. 
at this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Philadelphia ahead, up by 16. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate, and how about the setup this one? What an advantage if your off guard can make plays so valuable. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Trailing by 16, taking a look at the 76ers. Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Seth Curry is out there with Simmons, and it's Green in at the three And well, they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed, and they're doing a nice job on the rebounding. Outside, Simmons. Here's the hook. And off the glass. That one's good. Simmons got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the 76ers. Gildas Alexander passes to Roby. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. And Torch gets it to go. And perimeter scoring. I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three point. There's Green with the three. Now Horford with the rebound. Horford's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Hill passes to Roby. He kicks it to Horford. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by MB. in for the 76ers. Horford the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Horford sets a screen for Gilgis Alexander. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Outside, Simmons. Feibel on the wing. He's guarded by Hill. And that one's good. Feibel. And the 76ers lead by 17. For Oklahoma City, they've gone 1 of 4 since the end of the third quarter. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds for Thunder able to retain possession. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. From the inbound, Hill, no good. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. And there's the pass to Harris. Back to Simmons. And they double up B. Six on the shot clock. Here's Feibel. Hill pulls it in. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Looking to get it going. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. George Hill has good size and 
is brought in the shoulder so he can play physical at that point guard oh. position and the defense has to be cautious when they guard him. Shooting two. First free throw is good. George Hill is a gear shifting, versatile guard and has some size and a good perimeter defender with that length. Diallo, he's checked in for Gilgis Alexander. Both free throws good from Hill. Simmons with it. Who's got Simmons? Pass to Embiid. Green deciding where to go with it. Offline with his three. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. Hill against Simmons. And the shot goes down. Hill's got four points this quarter. Now well, George Hill making me get out of box of tissues. Sweet teardrop there. Harris outside. And B is at the elbow. Over Horford. That one a little long. Under trailing by 13. Pass to Hill. Here's George. Shot will not fall. Simmons with the defensive effort. Well, his shots aren't dropping. They haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him. See if he can find him. Here's Torch. Takes it inside. Got a hand on it. Simmons passes to Embiid. Harris outside. And he uses the glass on the way. And the 76ers lead by 15. Well, Tobias just going strong that time. And here's Hill, who will bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Outside, Horford. Kick out to Hill from the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Hill's got seven points here in this quarter. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Harris outside. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. And it's sent back by Horford. Absorb the contact. Philadelphia leading by 12. Simmons on the wing. He's guarded by Hill. Simmons can't get it to go. You know what? Those are shots you just hate to miss when you get those kinds of bunnies on a possession. T2 from Hill. Misses off the left iron. Philadelphia's gotten off to an over two start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Green. Back to Simmons. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Here's Horford. Converts on the jumper for the easy two. Guys, they have a really solid lead at this point. Definitely, and they haven't faced as much resistance. Harris, looking it over, and the call will be against Al Horford. That'll be his second foul of the game. On defense, the Thunder. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. 
Simmons passes to Embiid. Rocket six. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Rockets to the hoop. Diallo. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And one on Embiid. Shooting two. And that one misses. And he's good on the second. The 76ers leading by 11. Simmons finds MB. Back to Simmons. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Eyeball up top. He's guarded by Diallo. Just four to shoot. Here's Simmons. He can't get that one to fall. Good work defensively by Horford. Now Diallo. Right wing. Outside, Horford. Back to Diallo. Tipped away. And stolen by Feibel. And here's Green outside. Hill pulls it in. Hill's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Roby. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No good on that one. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. They led the game at one point by 20. MB dishes to Green. Harris outside. Now oh, here's Simmons. There's the try. Here's MB. And the dunk by MB. What a scary sight. Joel MB with all that momentum. Take it into the hoop, looking like a freight train. Here's Rope. It's back to Hill. Horford trying to free himself up. Hill, no good. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Here's Embiid. Grabs the rebound again. Rebound after rebound after rebound. Oh, G.A., he is crashing the glass with energy. I love it. Our timeout called by Oklahoma City. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid, and they're giving up a ton of second-chance points.
Joel Embiid. He's kept a lot of their possessions alive with his work on the offensive glass. You can't measure what that kind of effort means to a team. Not just in terms of the second chances those rebounds create, but also for the example it sets. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during that break, the coach of the Thunder had some harsh words for his team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. Or we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Here's George by Green. And they've controlled the boards, and that's a big reason why they're controlling the lead. Simmons against Hill. Knocked away. And that one goes out of bounds. Pass touched by Gilgis Alexander. And here now is Thibault. On the clock. So much talk about the work ethic of Gilgis Alexander. Strong defensive play that time. Dort passes to Roby. Outside Hill. A three. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. The 76ers leading by 15. Simmons with it. To the paint, here's Harris. Harris pulled loose, and it goes out of bounds. That one on Harris. Hill. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And there's a minute 45 left to play here in the fourth. Six to shoot. And stolen by Feibel. Outside, Simmons. The pass to Embiid. Now, Green, Harris finds Embiid over Horford. Another miss by Philadelphia. They're trailing by 15. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the 76ers. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal position. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions, and the nice night it ended up being for Joel Embiid. Well, the tone was set by him defensively tonight, recorded a number of blocks, and that was a big difference maker, intimidating the other team. Fade away. MB, no good. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Trailing by 17. Passes it to Dort. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Six on the shot clock. And stolen by Simmons. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, you took over offensively. What went into finding that rhythm? 
I thought I got the shots that I wanted and I played into the floor of the offense and my teammates were finding me, so I just knocked down some shots. Well, they were smart to look for you, man, because you had it going on, man. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Owen, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you later.